bar wheat grind on wheat nitty bar. Holy shit, that's racist. What the hell are you talking about? It's the universal greeting from Transformers. Of hate? Look, welcome to I... another rendition of The Broken Critic. And uh, of course, as you guys can probably tell, uh, we're doing the original Transformers animated movie from 87 in, uh, in accordance with the new Transformers Age of Extinction movie. Go bots! Go on. Look, this is one of the biggest movies from my own childhood, and I absolutely love it in spite of some of the very traumatic moments that happened in this movie. It didn't make a lot of money. It was a big bomb. Yeah, that it was. And there's a very good reason for it. The only reason why this movie even exists is essentially because... Sell more toys. To sell more toys. And not only more toys, but a whole new line of toys. Hence why they had to eliminate all the old toys. And they did so in the most dramatic fashion they possibly could imagine. To dare to be stupid. That comes later. I'm you sorry, idiot. I was playing in my head every time someone died. I... <laughs> okay, go on. Copyright, we're fine. That was less than five seconds. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, just to kind of reiterate what the actual premise of the movie was, it happened uh, about uh, midway through the whole series of the uh, the Generation 1 Transformers. Uh, I should stipulate this by saying I remember absolutely nothing about the cartoon except for a couple of them. And, and it's Mark. been uh, Grimlock. Well, everyone remembers Grimlock. He's a fucking dinosaur. Who can't remember Grimlock? He's the only reason you people want to go see the new shitty one. Well, they're all shitty, but the new one. Just because Michael Bay did it doesn't make... Okay, yes, it does. But, that being said, mm -hmm. uh, the whole premise of this movie is basically to <laughs> wipe out the original line of toys. And, like I said, <laughs> they did so in the most dramatic way possible by flat-out killing every single one they could in the first 20 minutes of the damn movie. <laughs> Including everybody's favorite, Optimus Prime. Oh man, fuck him. I said it. What is wrong with you? I was a total Decepticon, man. You have no soul. This is new. <laughs> but, uh, so in the first 20 minutes, you see all your favorite original G1 Transformers die. Everybody from Ironhide, Ratchet, Wheeljack, everybody dead. God, to introduce new characters like Hot Rod and Cup and RC, the first female Autobot. And Ultra Magnus. Because <laughs> everybody loved Ultra Magnus. Ultra Ripoff. Ha! Rob, cut to JP's reaction when Optimus died. There we go. <laughs> it Cry was a, baby bitch. <laughs> it was a traumatic time. It was sad. Did you not he, hear the music when that guy why died? Why did he turn gray? Why didn't he explode like all the other ones? That is an excellent question. But uh, we're not here to, well, unless you want to talk about how, you know, how this movie is wrong in a lot of different ways. I think you're going to that. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not. But essentially, so Optimus Prime dies and transfers the uh, the Matrix of Leadership to Ultra Magnus, and all along this giant eating like planet eating robot is going around. He's really afraid of the uh, the Matrix. His name is Orson Welles. Unicron. Right. God damn it. <laughs> and basically, what happens is that Megatron and a few other Decepticons are so mortally wounded that they that Unicron basically finds him in, floating in the middle of space, rebuilds him in new versions, also basically creating a whole new, new line of versions. versions. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically tells Gal Galvatron, the new version of Megatron, to go and kill Ultra Magnus and destroy the Matrix. Wait, wait, wait. So sorry, I, I, I hate to I hate to interject. So uh, yeah, you basically yeah, no, you don't hate. Basi I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're telling me is they're charging their fans to basically see the trailer for the new toys they're going to make them buy. That is exactly what this movie was all about. And that's why this movie did awesome. 
It was still enjoyable as a movie. It's pretty dark for a movie. I'll give it that. For a kid's movie, it's For a kid's movie and the fact that everybody... They said the S word. Once. Once. They said the D word. Once. It wasn't even dick. It was damn. You're right. And so the whole story just kind of progresses (laughs) and... You meet a lot of new characters. Uh, the Transformers have their own Smurfette. Yeah, RC. We already covered that. They just fucking running a train on her. More than likely. Rob, show an animated version of RC getting done by all of them. No. Okay. What Go is on. wrong with you? I need something to masturbate to other than you crying. What? Anyway, some of the biggest parts of this movie is actually the soundtrack. The soundtrack is freaking amazing. Technically, yeah, it's 80s. pretty good, actually. Like, you gotta admit, every song on that amazing. fucking disc is amazing from beginning to end. Weird Al's on it. I'm fucking Weird Al's on it. That. Like, dare to be stupid. I mean, I'll admit, song. it does. I don't know why it's in the. It shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really the mo- <laughs> one of the. It's the only song out of the entire soundtrack that's really out of place, but it's still freaking amazing. You got the touch! You got the power! No. Everybody loves yeah! it. Yeah! <laughs> how, how can you not love this song? Cameraman should be silent. <laughs> love you, Rob. <laughs> Couldn't help myself, sorry. Thank you. And essentially, this movie actually just opens the door to the beginning of the end of Transformers. Uh, the last season opening up with uh, Hot Rod, or now Rodimus Prime, taking over for the Autobots, is ba- basically destroys the entire franchise as a TV show. And uh, since then, just uh, at least since then, uh, they've created a lot of different uh, series uh, based on it. Uh, Beast Wars, Transformers Animated. Beast Wars! We all know how much you love Beast Wars. That shit was way better than Transformers. Fuck you. Fuck you with a rusty knife. Please no. Okay. But uh, like, if you have not, if you do, if you do not realize that this movie exists, watch it. If you are a true, honest to goodness Transformers fan, if you've not seen this, you need to watch it. Uh, it is it is an amazing movie. I absolutely still love it, even though it has a ton of flaws. It is still a great watch, if not just for the soundtrack, just for even the introduction of some of the new characters, and uh, just uh, opening it up to uh, the the last and final like the the final season of Transformers. But that was so bad it killed the Transformers. <laughs> yeah. Not even Michael Bay's movies have killed the Transformers. <laughs> so if you can use that as like a scale. Fair enough. I, I can say as an outsider, like, and I mean that as an outsider, because I love Beast Wars, but I was never big into Transformers. Like the original thought, series. Yeah, I always G1 thought... G1 was nothing to you. Yeah, it was okay. That's because you don't know who this is. That's Blur, this is... right? Mm. And that's Grimlock. <laughs> I know that. It's like a dinosaur. Who can't remember that? I can say honestly, as an outsider, I like I said, I only remember really the first episode more than anything, where they're like, "Oh, Energon Cube," blah blah. blah. But I'll admit, as a movie, this is not bad. It's pretty good. It's got a good soundtrack. It's got really good animation at times. Um, <laughs> yeah, sometimes not but, you so know, much. It's action from beginning to end. It opens up oh, with this is. giant planet eating oh, another robot is. planet. And my favorite thing about this movie is if you or your children haven't seen it, watch the whole series with them and then watch this and then film your reactions to all of them dying. Because I need it for a thing. Please don't listen to him. Seriously, I can only imagine how many kids this movie made cry. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, I know. Brings back bad memories for me. Yeah, yeah. But no, I'll admit, yeah, as an outsider, pretty good. I'd say check it out. I, If you cannot buy it and watch it, do so. But if you really get into it, I mean, hey, there you, there's just a lot more. I think it needs to belong in any Transformer fan library. 
Like, you have to own it. I'd assume if you were a Transformers fan, you would own it. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. Well, it's one of those things that, oh my god, like that last season of Transformers, I still can't get over it. The Japanese one? No, well, there, there's that one. Uh, I think it, Headmaster and tax, Taskmaster is what they called it. Like, that, that whole seri season. Um, Sounds like it, dumb. It, it, if you can find it, Don't watch, watch it. it. Okay. <laughs> if you can actually get through it, consider yourself a true fan. Just if like, not, watch Beast Wars. It's awesome. They turn into animals and shit. And then you turn into robot animals later. It's pretty cool. Draft metals. God damn it. All right. Anyway, well, what would you give this out of like a, a rating? I would probably give it a 7.5 out of 10, really. 7.5? Eh. Like, because it was... I don't know. Like, it was just still iconic. Like, it still had its flaws, and it still had a lot of bad things happen to it. But the thing is, it was still... It was a stepping stone in the Transformers franchise. They, they tried to do something new, and it bit them in the ass. It bit them in the ass... And in fact, in the last season of Transformers, they even ended up bringing back Optimus Prime halfway through the season just to be like, hey, I'm back because everybody loves me. Because uh, Rodimus Prime is a pansy. I give the movie seven Megan Fox boobs out of ten. Megan Rob, Fox. put in like three sets of Megan Fox's boobs and then like half of one. That's seven out of, out of the five sets. Michael Bay! is ruining Transformers. But that's just my opinion. And once again, guys, thank you very much for joining us on The Broken Critic and The Broken Sea. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like and don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on uh, Twitter, at The Broken Sea. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time on uh, future, uh, future videos. Holy shit, this isn't the last episode? I hope not. It's not. <laughs> Bye.